Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Eric and today we're going to talk about how to use the Meneer Milk Cream Separator. This is a centrifuge that separates the butter fat from the buttermilk and apparently there seems to be a little bit of confusion out there on how to assemble it and how to use it. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this separator. The first thing we're going to do before using the Meneer cream separator is to wash all the parts that came in the box. This piece is called the drum and we need to take it apart because it has a lot of different discs inside that also need to be cleaned. So with the wrench that came in the box, just unscrew the brass nut, remove it, and you can easily take the drum apart and remove all the discs. Once you have all of the discs separated, wash everything with warm soapy water and rinse it off with cold water. I do want to add that all of the parts for Meneer's cream separator need to be hand washed. So once everything is washed, let's go ahead and put it back together. And we're going to start with the drum. The drum contains many discs that actually separate the cream from the milk. And you're going to notice that 14 of them look identical. 14 of the discs are going to have a very smooth inside, just like that. While one of the discs are going to have convex points on the inside. And it's these convex points that's gonna let you know this is the very first disc that goes onto the base. When I flip it over, you're gonna notice a very unique design on the top circle. You're gonna have three wide gaps with one narrow gap at the top. All of these discs are gonna stack very neatly on a base that has that exact same design. Three wide gaps with one narrow gap at the top. So now that we understand the components of the drum, let's go ahead and assemble it. The first thing I wanna do is replace my gasket. This is gonna keep my milk from leaking out. We're now gonna go ahead and put the first base piece on. And notice there's a little mark at the bottom there. That mark underneath it corresponds to a hole. And that hole is gonna fit perfectly to a peg that's on the base itself. So we're gonna line that piece up as we slide it down the shaft and it's gonna go ahead and lock in place. Remember that the very first disc that we put in is the one with the convex points underneath it. So we're gonna make sure that we align those notches up with the notches on the base and it should slide in effortless. There's really only one way to slide it in. The rest of the discs can be put on in whichever order you want. It doesn't matter because they're all identical. One thing to remember when putting the discs on is that you shouldn't force the disc onto the base. It should slide on effortless. Once you get your last disc on, it's time to go ahead and put the disc cover. The disc cover is going to slide directly on top of all of those discs. And if you give it a little turn, you're going to notice that there is a small pinhole at the very top. This is where the cream actually comes out. When you place the drum cover onto the base, you want to make sure that that pinhole is visible. Now that the drum has been fully assembled, we're going to screw the brass nut directly on top and with the wrench that's included, we're just gonna hand tighten it. There's no need to apply unnecessary force. Our drum is now assembled, our pinhole is visible, and as we turn the drum around, we're gonna talk about this little screw on the back. This screw controls the thickness of your cream as it comes out. So if you turn your screw to the left, as I'm doing here, which I'm loosening the screw, it's gonna cause my cream to come out a little thicker. If I tighten the screw, which means I turn that screw to the right, my cream is gonna come out a little thinner. This is a great feature to experiment with depending on what you're looking for in your final product. Let me show you how I set mine. I'm gonna tighten the screw all the way to the right. And once it's completely tightened, I'm just gonna give it a half turn to the left. And for me, that's about perfect for what I like to use my cream for. I'm gonna show you one more feature on the base before we assemble the whole unit. And if you take the Allen wrench that comes in the kit and loosen the three screws on that base, you can either turn the top clockwise or counterclockwise and it will raise or lower, which is kind of handy depending on the containers that you're working with. So let's go ahead and tighten the screws and assemble the Meneer cream separator so that we can go ahead and make some cream. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is a peg with a notch right down the center of it. And if we take our drum and turn it upside down, you're gonna notice that there's a bar that runs right down the middle of it. Well, we need to align that bar with that notch. And when you align it, it fits perfectly and just slides right on in. Our drum is now in place. Next, we're gonna put on our spouts. And you're gonna notice that between two spouts, one of the holes is larger than the other. The one with the larger hole, that's this one, it's got about a two inch diameter, is gonna go on first. That spout is for the milk. On top of the milk spout, we're gonna go ahead and place the spout cover, and that should just slide right on. 
Next, we're gonna put on the other spout, which is the cream spout, and that cream spout is gonna fit directly on top of everything. To finish this assembly, we're gonna take this piece right here, which is the spout cover, and we're gonna place the float chamber directly on top of it. This is the float chamber. So all we're gonna do is just set that float chamber right into that hole, and with the palm of our hand, press it down. We're now gonna take the float, which has the three little legs on the very bottom of them, and set that into the float chamber, leg side down. This float chamber is gonna go directly on top of our cream spout, and on top of that, we're gonna place our bowl. Finally, we're gonna place the metal rod into the hole of our milk pot. And if it's turned clockwise, that means it's closed, and if you turn it counterclockwise, that means it's open. So we're gonna close this as I show you how to use this cream separator. The first thing you wanna do with the valve closed is add hot water. It's important that your water is about 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And once you have your water in there and it's at the right temperature, go ahead and turn your separator on. Allow the unit to run for approximately 60 seconds or one minute before you do anything. This is gonna bring it up to speed. After one minute, we're gonna take the metal rod that's in our milk pot and give it a half turn counterclockwise. This is gonna open up the valve and allow that hot water to begin running through our milk separator. This is gonna warm up all the components, allowing our cream to separate easier. After all the water has run through the separator, close the valve by turning it clockwise, and with the machine still on, go ahead and add your milk. It is important to know that you wanna have your milk heated to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which will help in the separation of the milk and the cream. To begin, open your metal rod halfway, which will slowly start to introduce milk into the separator, and almost immediately, you're gonna notice skim milk coming from the skim milk chute. It should be nice and white. On the other side of the machine, down the cream spout, you'll notice the butter fat slowly start trickling down that spout as it's being separated from the milk. We've been using our separator for the last few months, and we love it. It's effective, and once you get the hang of putting it together, it's very easy to use. We are left with 100% skim milk and all the butter fat to the side. I think it's time to go make some butter. This separator is capable of doing up to 80 liters of milk per hour, and if you happen to be using it for more than one hour at a time, you definitely want to take it apart after the first hour, clean all the components, and then put it back together. Regardless though, once you're finished using the separator, disassemble the machine, remove the gasket from the drum, and separate all the discs. Hand wash all the parts with hot soapy water, and then rinse everything down with cold water. After your separator is completely cleaned, you wanna make sure that you dry all the components before reassembly, and that's it. That's everything you need to know on how to use the Maneer Cream Separator. We love this product, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It comes in incredibly handy when you need to separate the cream from the milk. And when used properly, this cream separator will last you a very, very long time. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If this is the first video you've seen from our channel, we'd like to say welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. We post new videos each week. We'll see you in the next one.